<coughs> so today we are going to learn page 101. Correct? I, I think so. I, it could be, do you think we should do all of these pine trees or do you think we should just focus on one? Oh, it depends on if we have time. I think the... Maybe the, I can do them for homework. Yeah, I think the single one is uh, more uh, practical, I think. Okay. <coughs> the the other ones are more than one, right? So, yeah, you can you can apply uh, the same method to other samples. And there will be okay. distant ones. Yeah, you know, we, we can spend more than one class for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> so um let me get some paper. Yes. But, uh, I haven't sent out to the the class the handouts for the Thursday class yet. Um, okay. I, I, I'm still debating. How's your health? Is it, are, are you feeling better? Yeah, it's much better, but uh, still some uh, lingering symptoms. Oh, but no fever. That's uh, last week I uh, got fever. Ooh. So yeah, if we uh, do the cranes, we we could also do the the pine as well. So this will be good for Thursday's preparation. Um, let me see. Let me just use uh, this this uh, same book. Okay, so I do have another traditional one. It's the same. Same picture. Yeah. I just tried to to see how this was translated. <coughs> it's uh, it talks about the noble uh, kind of uh, attitude. Uh, as the other, you know, four gentlemen. This, this is not four gentlemen, but uh, it's sim similar to that. It, it's the kind of um, uh, chi that so you you only see uh, in tall uh, mountains, you know. And the young dragon. Yeah, uh, yeah, the young dragon. Huh? Yeah, that's a good metaphor for that. Yeah, just think about it, the scales. Uh, like a dragon body, yeah. <laughs> so this is a uh, uh, we normally s start. We would do the uh, knob holes first. These are like uh, the uh, the joints, uh, the intersection of uh, branches, right? Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> You can start from the lower one, but usually I, I, I try to find where the, the major division starts. So yeah. there's, a, there's a major division right there. So it's, yes. a, it's about... Here a, there's the, the, the uh, two branches, one going up and then the other one going down. Yeah, there's a... Uh, notice the, the front and the back relationship. So we should do the, the front one first. So probably the horizontal one. Mm -hmm. They're hanging mm -hmm. down, hanging down. There's a. Um, I think when we talk about the gesture of the pine, uh, they are more angular than uh, other trees. Okay. Okay. So I'll just use uh, some ink to get starch. You can use it. Um, Medium dark, maybe too too dark. It's it's okay for practice. Uh, the the pine could be a little darker than 
other cheese to show age. Let me get some more. Um, that tissue here. So you can test the, the color. And another thing is that I usually get a, a medium dark, right? And then I may touch a little dark to dot the, the hole, just a little. Okay, so we will dot that. That's my ankle point. Okay, just get started. So I just put a little hole there and then start drawing around it. So leave the white where you want it. Okay. And then uh, leave the top open because that goes to the top. Don't close that. So it's a, it's about uh, you know like a squarish shape, not not rounded. Okay, that's what I said. Always go round, and then try to use your clock um, system that we talked about earlier in in other classes. So there's a um, there's a little uh, vertical before you turn right okay so i i i, I this is in, inner in, inner uh, contour okay and then you go try to uh, keep the brush kind of on the paper do not lift but uh, find the next stop and try to see the the, the angle you don't have to use the clock I, because if you not have a clock in front of you, it's kind of hard to imagine, right? But uh, something like a, uh, you can use a other system like mathematical terms, like a, so they they go down a little bit. That's a less than ten percent degree, ten 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 uh, degree. Descent, and then kind of I don't know how much how much uh, degree it would be. From the two o'clock to the two o'clock. Yeah, two o'clock. Okay, you just yeah, yeah. I like the clock method. I understand that one. Okay, let's go up. To, uh, let's say one uh one o'clock. Go up now. So, but also pay attention to the length of each section. So this is a shorter one. General direction is going down, so this is just a, a further down a, a step uh, before going further down. You you have a little up to accumulate the energy, and then the gravity will pull the um, keep pulling the the branches down, and then the the uh, the sunshine, the the inner energy of the the tree, you know, will going. We constantly try to seek more air or or sunshine or some, some you know it, it, so it will go up even uh, at the end you will see that uh, let me let's let's finish all that so we probably don't have room right here let me see what's wrong with that. Uh, I think I think we would go off the page with the pine needles on that side. Oh, I see. Maybe we could get half of that on. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me try to to stop that. And notice that this, this angle. There's a broken branch there, and uh, so this one goes not narrower, narrower, getting narrower. So double lines still, but they're getting narrower and the thinner lines. Uh -huh. Okay, you can add a little water. Add a little water, it's too dry. And uh, still going, going down, so I have not far. So I have to cut it short. Yeah. Okay. This one goes uh, a little bit more um, flat, right? And then uh, a sudden drop. And then we see a, a, a leftward 
branch there. Okay. And it starts to split into three. So from now the uh, branches are single stroke, right? Single stroke. Okay. Yeah, the single stroke. And you can put a dot to start. That's very important. Put a dot at the beginning of the single stroke. So it's not uh, too sharp. The okay. connect con the, the connection Yeah, it's, it's a nail head. Just put a nail head. Yeah. And uh, this could be a little longer. Okay, that's about it. I'm not sure if uh, my proportion is still right. Yeah. <coughs> but. Uh, I'm, I'm following you. I, uh -huh, I'm, yeah. I'm tracking with you. Because the paper size is shorter than the original, yeah. so we probably have to cut short. Uh, but I'll just show you the this, the uh, the sequence of doing this. Okay, now I'm I'm going to reload a little bit. Just take time. Um, it's like a gombi painting. Okay, this is a uh, pretty straight, but a little bit lean to the left, right? to the right, yeah. and then this this one. The altered line has this this lot of uh, uh, what do you call this uh, motion? A little choppy kind of see, but not uh -huh. not not exactly. Uh, equal, so a little bit wavy, a little bit left and right, uh, left and uh, uh, so a, a rougher line. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, more uh, rugged. Rugged, yeah, rugged, jagged, jagged. Yeah, some more to to indicate the quality of the the coarse. Um, Bark. Okay, I think there's a branch actually in front of this one, so we better. Yeah. I think we we almost missed that uh, chance. So I want to make sure it cutting there. So that where where's this coming from? Okay, here. So it actually uh, goes from here all the way here almost a, like a triangle shape mm -hmm. right yeah so put a there's a little double line there so i put a dot pass pass and then start to go up We just make a hard cross. Supposedly, uh, it's softer. I'll make a. Okay. There are some leaves Is there in the in the front. Let me just start feeling that. Should leaf. we start putting the leaves in? <coughs> Um, not necessarily now, but I just want to put uh, this uh, to take that space before I <laughs> filling everything. Oh, so okay. I need to uh, well, have I a ga understand. gap there. Okay. Yeah, it's if we missed it, so you have to make hard cross. That's not good. Huh? That so that's uh, that's why I try to save that. So the, this leaf is uh, almost like a round shape. It's not not very common, but uh, it's still very common. <laughs> I think not not the typical pine like fan shape. Okay, and there is a okay. We we can we can do the major trunk before we go to more detail. But uh, 
let's see. Should we just complete the? I think the top is more important in this in this case. Let's just continue on top. You can go either way. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, Let's see the angle. It's, it's, it's all, almost the same. Yeah, almost this like this same similar, but shorter. Uh, just like that dotted line to be fine. And you can have some dotted line, jagged lines there, and then we will have another. We we in in plum painting we call this uh, uh, area the woman radical or woman character you know just cross like that okay yeah but in, 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 you can you can still call that but uh, uh, same same idea so you make a crossing like that Okay, that's a that's a branch behind this major one. You can put more knots knots uh, if you want than the. Here we have a big knot, big big knot knot hole here. It's uh, not exactly in the middle. Um, but uh, let me see how we interpret it. Maybe more on the on the uh, left side, and but more uh, the, the big white on that, and closer to the to this side. Okay. Just fill in, I think it's fine. <coughs> okay. <coughs> and uh, continue. Okay, usually when you have a knob, you start to see uh, change of directions. So the yeah, direction sorry, we're going, going to toward 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11. Okay. And it's getting narrower too, okay. So there's a lot of us things, angle and uh, distance, thickness of the line, everything is getting narrower. <coughs> okay, now we have another division. Just take time. Start on um, on the left and then uh, right top from top down. Right, usually that's the sequence. Yeah, you can have some uh, um, open uh, breaks. You know, not not necessarily or uh, close that. Okay, dotted lines, that's fine. And it's getting narrow again, yeah. almost uh, leveled, but there's like a curve. Just think about the gravity, you know, that's uh, how you produce this kind of curve. And uh, Kick back a little bit there. <coughs> and this goes behind. Okay, now the, the uh, left side. And here, um, 
is uh, mm, the the uh, dead branch. Okay, that's is very important uh, characteristic of a pine on the top of mountain. Dew. The thunder hits, you know, and they really cut up the top branches. It's a, just think about them like a deer horns. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I, I'm looking at this uh, kind of relationship how how far this goes. Just like that. Okay. Um, let's see. Should be right there. Down. Okay. Oops, I, I, I made a mistake. It, it, I should add it to the bottom, but it goes on top. What can I do? I'll just add another branch there. It could twist. It could change. You can um, always thicken it. Okay. Just fix that. And uh, here is another division. Very fl flat crown. That's another major feature of pine crown because um, they're windy. They grow on, on windy mountains, so they cannot grow grow like other trees to uh, like a only cup shape. They usually very flat, low profile. Keep the profile very low to avoid being blow out. Okay, now the I just add a little bit of water. Okay, um, here is another kind of new crossing, triangular crossing. Uh, let's first do the all the way to the. But we I think our paper is different size, so you have to look at. Uh, where the the root would be, it will not go too much beyond the root. Oh. Yeah. So look at the root. Oh, it will not grow too much beyond the root. Yeah. So this far. Okay. Yeah. So it's probably this far. That's about it. Okay. So yeah. then we have to make sure we get that nice curve in the in the. Uh, yeah. In in the trunk of the tree. Okay. Let me. That's uh, I just changed a little bit. Just change a little bit. You, you don't have to copy exactly <laughs> mine or the right. the painting. Right. Uh, just to, to make sure the the idea is uh, uh, keep it low. Take keep all the leaves together with it. Uh, just dance, very dense, very low. And there should be some um, branches like that uh, to support the needles, pine needles, so they don't grow directly from the major chunk. And you can stack them together. I usually draw from outside in, but uh, you can go either way. It's on the left side, maybe outside in. Uh, it's easier maybe um, on the right side, go inside out. Right? So it's, uh, it's all okay. 
and you can just do whatever convenient. Okay. <coughs> I just just want to maybe My parents lived in Japan before I was born and they had a set of porcelain dinnerware uh -huh. that had enameled pine trees. So I grew up with the pine trees in my we always had our holiday meals on the pine oh, trees. The decorative uh, pattern. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. The, in Japan, they also have the three three friends, and pine is uh, one of uh, the three winter friends. Yeah. Oh. And they use that to uh, give different ranks to things. So the uh, pine is maybe rank one. Uh, Bamboo is number uh, two, or uh, plum is number three. Usually, <laughs> that's what I learned. Okay, so you, let's do the more detail later. We, we, uh -huh. We'll finish the gesture of the tree first. <laughs> the tr trunk. Okay, so this. Uh, let me see. Actually, it, it's gone quite quickly now that we got the main parts in. Uh -huh. it, it didn't take that long. Oh, uh, it looks, uh, yeah, it looks down here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just like Gombi painting, it's much easier than you draw freehand because you you could fail many times. Uh, <laughs> it's in the same period you draw a Gombi, you know. Yeah. Gombi is fun because it's not so... Yeah. You can always go back to the template. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so here is uh, another knob, big knob. Big knob. And there. Try to indicate the twist. That's what I try to do. So. Uh, Oh, we'll, we'll do that next. So we'll just do the contour first, and I'll show you. But sometimes people like to do the scale and the the, uh, the bark together. Maybe you could try that. And this is how usually I do. Just uh, draw like a half, like a scale of the koi fish. Uh -huh. like a, yeah, just like a like okay. that. A little triangular shape, um, if you will. Upside down check mark. If, and try to find a pattern that uh, alternates the dark from. Uh, like a fish scale. Yeah. And try to save a, a line of a whiteness between left and right uh, usually but this highlight this highlight area kind of shift not right in the in the center so it's like here I push it to the to the right more okay see what I mean so the more the scale on shadow yeah. the shadow the shadow is uh, ch kind of push the highlight it's, yeah, you're, you're doing the shadow with the scale, right? And then yes. uh, save the white. So you will become uh, like a highlight, lid, lid part. Uh -huh. See? But not always leave the, the center straight in the dead center. So you, you can see, this is how I you see the, the hidden, uh, that little corner is shady. And then this part is lit, so I, I have fewer scale on the right, on the left here, than the, the right, right? That's how I, and then now I, I change a little bit, so it's now going to the, some part is more equal, maybe some just uh, change back and uh, left and right, so it's not, uh, Not so stiff, you know, like uh, <coughs> the highlight is is right in the in the middle. It should be covering to indicate the twist. Okay, and uh, just draw a little bit. 
just see to show you this idea. But the scale get gets smaller on top. Okay. Now I'm going to continue. It has a tendency like a going uh, with some curve, so it's not perfectly straight, right? So let me see how you describe that. Yeah, I think I didn't get that quite the curve like, nicely. Let me try to get the next one. And you can you can indicate the roughness by uh, do not close the the contour like here. I think. Okay, let's go. Hmm. I have to force in the the root, so it's kind of nice thing to go too far from that. Let me just draw this root from here. Okay, the root is not uh, uh, like October, right? The 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 clean on the ground. I think I put that line it's in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to turn it into a bar or something. Okay. Actually, I could still come kind of there. Let's see. I just force it. <coughs> so try to force myself solve this issue. Okay, another uh, natural phenomena is like uh, sometimes the tree just buckle, uh, just go like an unevenly uh, shape because the, there are some unknown uh, forces forced it in in the way of uh, going. So sometimes it become uh, swallowed, swollen, swollen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. uh, some part is making maybe become suddenly narrowed so <laughs> because some sickness or some 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 accidents or whatever so it it could happen like that uh -huh. yeah so I just make it uh, kind of like a modern scotch organ <laughs> Nature is more w wonderful than what people can imagine. Yes. And the the the, the force of survival I can uh, be very uh, powerful. See, uh, okay. There's another hole there. My father was in China in the 1930s, Henry. Oh, really? Yes. Sir, he, he was in the Navy, and oh. so he, he uh, I don't know what they were doing in China in the 1930s, but they must. Oh have yeah, been I, uh, the, the they're part of the. Uh, Ally <laughs> force in, in Ch China is uh, uh, anti Japan Japanese war yeah oh, okay. so the Pacific War part of the Pacific War and the uh, yeah so he he probably also in Perma yeah because the war capital is in southwest. Yeah. 
So his navy, oh uh, navy. No, he was in the navy. Navy maybe in Shanghai or somewhere. Uh, but during the war, in Shanghai was occupied. So he probably was there earlier than ninety. I mean, uh, thirty-seven. I think there was a there was a war in Shanghai. That's a. Uh, I think that's where 35. he was. I oh, think I that's see. where he was. Yeah. <coughs> and he he ended up working for the state uh, in Sacramento in an office. Uh -huh. And they're both buried in a Japanese cemetery, believe it or not. Oh. They had a very uh, they really loved the Orient. Who who are buried there? My parents. Oh, your parents are buried in. They're buried in a Japanese, Japanese cemetery, cemetery oh. in the hills, in the hills by the Sierra Nevada. Oh. Yeah. I um, illustrated a Japanese uh, novel, but it's a very rare story. Uh, it's a. a it, American fought, fought uh, for Japan, <laughs> a pilot in, in the Kawasa, Ka, Kawa, what's the, the those uh, suicidal uh, flight uh, pilots, one of those. Uh, he he made a he made through and returned uh, to San Francisco. He wrote a, a biographic wow. novel, and I I illustrated that book. Wow, how cool! Now we're putting in the needles. Yeah, just to uh, cover each other by half, mm, maybe less. The, you mean on, they should overlap? Uh, on the on the on the book, it doesn't really cover it overlap each other that much. Huh? No. So we can just leave it uh, like that. So just next to each other, very closely. Maybe overlap a little bit. It's a good idea. So you you want form a cluster shape, not uh, just individual groups. And pay more attention on the outer shape of the, the each uh, cluster. So you you should have an idea generally like a cloud shape or something like that uh, before you. You you fill in that shape, okay. right? yeah. So you don't um, lose the whole whole shape of the. You don't want to overdo it with too many. Yeah, just you're working on the the shape always, not the details. You try to create the the tree um, profile. Profile, yeah. Solid way. Now, should the needles be darker than the tree, or? Uh, it doesn't matter. You can use pure ink. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I would use pure ink uh, for the needles and the lighter ink for the trunk. I think ideally, but I, I think I got too many. Too much ink, but it's okay. It's, you can see it more clear. We'll work on it. Yeah, we'll work. You can, you can make it lighter. Okay, so the so your 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 mother also went to Asia. My mother was was a Navy nurse oh. in World War Two, and she um, and they they met in Japan oh and um, what a story so what that's the way the story goes oh. Oh. so you certainly have inherited the, the heritage I have, I have a re respect for what this means it means a lot to me Henry yeah yeah. 
Yeah, she really she really liked making friends with the Japanese ladies and oh, you know yeah. the whole thing. They just really enjoyed themselves when they were there. Yeah. I think I'm getting too many needles. So they went to Japan after the the forty five, nineteen forty five. Yeah, they were they were in Japan from after the war yeah. ended yeah. until I think nineteen fifty one. Oh, the Korean War. <laughs> yeah, and then my father went to the Korean War. Wow. So, um, wow. And then he finally retired and and worked for the state of California. I see. Yeah. My professor in, at the University of Washington also fought for uh, at, in in the Korean War. <laughs> he was an uh, interpreter. He became so he became a specialist in Chinese uh, history. Oh wow! My American professor. Mm. UW is probably similar age as your father. Now, should there be uh, the bark marks all the way down the tree, all the way into the the uh, other branches, or should they stop? Um, just naturally, it disappears uh, when you like uh, all the double. Double lines, uh, branches should have a little bit, but sometimes it becomes just a one dot, you know, some dots. Yes, it's okay. okay. Uh, so if you have one or two circles, identify them, it's fine. Uh, it, I see it become a very suggestive. See, okay, some just uh, dots just indicates the texture will be fine. And uh, here, is the, you can always adjust the shape of the hole. And, uh, bark. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now um, let's continue this. Uh, <coughs> I see the. Uh, this branch should end within the frame. So make sure that's the, the end of that. And then going back a little bit under. And then connect all that into a, a shape. So it should have like little branches uh, underneath the needles so they don't attach di directly on the trunk okay so you can leave some space and then add those have branches little little yeah little branches okay <coughs> just uh, some space between them and the Oh, I see some space between the pine yeah. needle groups and the the, tr the, the branches. The, the branches, yeah. A lot of people do, do not have this, and they uh, become uh, like too stiff. So the branches, uh, yeah. Just remember that it makes difference. It because the pine is uh, very translucent. You see through. There, you can call them sky holes in, in uh, painting, right? Yeah, just see through okay. holes. Like, uh, so this part also to make it uh, more. Uh, with, now, uh, when I when I finish it, should I? I won't color it too much, but do you think I should color it a little bit? Uh, let's come to that. Okay. I think we have time to okay. to do the color. Yeah, you can use uh, uh, light ink plus green or just blue 
Yeah. And then the trunk should be just highlight to its uh, brown, not to, to fill in everything. You can okay. you can just kind of highlight this uh, brown. Yeah. Okay. The Overdo it. Uh, I don't want to get it too dense. Let me see if I think it's, we still have room, right? Let me see the. the the major one. We need to make sure it's not looking like a ball. The tree. Mm -hmm. We should be. Luxurious, luxurious. Uh, I call this luxurious. Yeah, this is a good subject. I'd I'd really like to work on it a few times. Oh sure. Oh. That's definitely for that. It's quite quite. Lovely, really. Yeah, it's very meditative. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> okay. So oh, here is another branch. Uh, let me see. I think we missed something here. Oh, and then another major branch is missing. Huh? How come? Okay. All right, Mister. Okay, I just make that uh, this uh, missing branch here. <coughs> There's a split there, so it has a little more. Okay. And add some more leaves there. Why it become denser than <laughs> master cotton? I just have to add to this. Let me make it longer to.
that's probably it. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you mine. Oh, sure. Let me see. Oh, wonderful. Very nice. Yeah, very good. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, you, to make it easy, you can just uh, flat wash. Uh, <coughs> you can also use the green to to uh, draw each needle. Uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, you know. But uh, let me just flat wash. Uh, with, uh, okay, let's let's do this. Yeah, let me get some some pens. some cakes see what we got you can use a transparent color um, just indigo you know some some color did they come with the uh, ink already so uh, this is probably just the indigo let me show you what we have indigo right it's pretty dark and just add some yellow but Keep it translucent so you will not cover the the. Uh, you can add a little bit of a, uh, mineral color as well. Okay, let me just put it here. Okay, <coughs> so I have a, like a. Uh, if you want to avoid covering let's try this this is kind of because I use the opaque color so it's better to use it uh, on the uh, on the back side I think if you use it uh, just gamboge or lemon yellow with the uh, uh, blue it, you don't have to do it on the back so keep it very light. Yeah, I think. I went too wild with my color. I was having so much fun. <laughs> Just I went know. too far. Let me, let me see how it looks like. See how subtle it is? And then you oh, can. Oh, yeah. You can. You, okay, you can, I'm painting on the front, but I see the point. Yeah. Yeah, you can paint on the front. Uh, I, I, I will use the yellow on the front. Yellow is translucent. Oh, okay. uh, blue. Oh, you're going to actually add some green to it. Yeah. See, I, I, I add uh, translucent green on the front. This is how they would work. Uh, you can put uh, translu translucent, transparent color on the front and then opaque color to back it up on the, on the back. Yeah. And you want to uh leave some some leave some uh, uh foliage longer than uh the color you know some may oh. be extending that uh -huh. leave the needles poking through yeah that's a very important okay. uh okay. You, you you can use a, just the water to to kind of kind of soften that edge you can use Clean water, maybe just soften it. It's it's fine. So you don't have to leave it a hard edge. Okay. So that's uh, what I'm doing. I see what I see what you're saying. I was covering them, but now I'm not. Okay. Yeah, just leave some, not uh, necessarily all the way. You know, sometimes I cover. See, this part is okay, but some part I purposely leave some some uh, needles. In the okay. air, in the, on, against the white paper, still, <laughs> so you, it's sticking out. And if you lose all of them, you have to add them. You can okay. add it. You can add it back. And you can use the blotting paper to stop bleeding. Okay, now the the brown. You can just use the amber, maybe a little bit yellow. I don't think so. Just. Amber would be fine. 
And sometimes you, you, you can get some more reddish in amber. Probably just tr uh, straight amber is easier. Yeah. And then just dilute it. Dilute it. So uh, here, here's again, I would use dry brush to, mm -hmm. to, to, to just kind of scampering on instead of yeah. wet you know i just so i can keep the the white like also keep the coarse texture okay feel like a, and you can add a little bit uh ink to mute it if you want if it's too yellow you can, or too red you can mute it you see i leave a lot of bits of uh white okay so dry brushing wash not not necessarily wet. Yeah. you can go beyond the, the line should be it gives it more sparkle too i think yeah. with the texture it, it makes it sparkle a little bit yeah you can leave leave that white uh eye okay and then uh for those one stroke thing you can just kind of go through it like that you yeah. you can just paint over it, but don't repeat exactly all the feelings uh, blank. Just uh, highlight the line, the outline, and then you can dot um, over ink. Oops, yeah, it's okay. And some part I go pretty dark. You see, if I want to cover this this dark, I can use pure. Amber, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, but don't try, don't deliberate because if you do that, it looks like oil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> but but you can have you can have a, as a rescue, you know. Use, you can use amber to cover ink, make it uh, yeah. colorful. Keep it more subtle. Yeah. To so keep yeah. it subtle, like here, uh, just highlight shade shadow. And uh, see, I leave a lot of white. So it's it's a whitish uh, uh, brown. That and you can also put a little bit in, on on top of the the ink. It, it will give a tone, give a tone to the ink. That's it. Okay, here I I I colored all the branches too. So that's uh, but I don't really care about it. every little is uh, white. No, just leave it. You 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 almost like you draw these lines in the same uh, manner as you draw the ink. I mean the color is painted down, not a wash. Well, I think I've done it. Okay, good. Yeah, you want to see. see? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, you, l there's still a lot of white. That's good. Yeah, you can... Uh, Should I take more of the white out? Uh, you can, if you want. Just try to go slower. <laughs> to see, oh. yeah, I, 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 I realized I, I could do more just to see what extent uh, we can go. See, but make sure the, the white highlight the lid part travels left and right see here oh, okay yeah, yeah see that that's what i mean so it will okay. not uh leave a dead white in the in the center it's uh, so you make it like you were doing western you'd, you'd make you'd uh, shade it so that it'd go around yeah it's not uh like a straight uh, uh cylinder it's a uh, uh more sophisticated shape, okay. it, 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 like a, the dragon, you know, twisting, or coiling is kind of, kind of twisting a little bit, twist a little bit. Okay, so we have good uh, timing today. I'll do it. Okay, let's. Uh, <coughs> so maybe uh, next week we can try two trees or. I'll work on, uh, not next week, next month. Yeah, you can work on your own. Uh, 
if you need help, we can go back to the to the to yeah to to the uh, work. You you, yeah. you try you can try to paint the the, the the following pages if you have time yeah. or uh, courage. <laughs> to do yeah, it's courage. Yeah, the, really. the, the, <laughs> The, di the different uh, the artist uh, styles and try to capture those uh, difference. Yeah, some more detailed, some more um, calligraphic. Yeah. This is more like Japanese style, but this could be also a Japanese style. It, it, it's just different uh, between. You see, this one is more uh, calligraphic. And, yeah. yeah. So this is more. It's harder. This one is easier. Now you understand. Um, okay. Well, thank you, Henry. So, yeah, see you on uh, Thursday. I still. On Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.